Good morning. Uh, hopefully this is recording okay. Um, so a Bible-believing Aryan defense. So what's Arianism? So it's attributed to Arius, 256 to 336 AD. So it's already several hundred years later. Uh, holds the Son of God is not co-eternal with God the Father and is distinct from the Father, therefore subordinate to him. Okay, so that's apparently what they say Arianism is. I will say that John 1.1 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. With God implies distinctness, but was God implies a lack of distinctness. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Okay, well, let's see. It says in Genesis 1.1, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. So, who who did the creating in the beginning? The Bible, the very first verse in the Bible, Genesis 1.1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Well, what does Colossians say? That would be Colossians verse 14. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. So we're talking about the Lord Jesus who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist, and he is the head of the body, the church, okay, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. Okay, so Genesis 1 says God created, and Colossians clearly says it was Jesus who did that. So the clear implication here is that Jesus is God, without any question, so that he is co-with God, co-eternal and all that. He is God. That is the implication. Hebrews says in verse one, uh, chapter 1, verse 8, But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever, a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. That's eternal. I titled this, the Bible says, uh, at the beginning I put here, Jesus is God, implies Jesus is God, nothing implies Jesus is not God, or, or Jesus is not God. Um. I would say pretty clearly these verses either strongly imply that Jesus is God or like Hebrews 1.8 where it says, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever referring to Jesus. That's to the Son that he's saying that. Clearly, almost directly says that Jesus is God. So it's somewhere between implies and says that Jesus is God. So there's no, there's no question here. In fact, even talking about creation, um, by whom he made the world, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down, on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. 
uh, I interpret inheritance is because he's naturally, because he's God, he automatically inherits that. Anyway, uh, I look at these verses and uh, let me know what you think, but I'm pretty sure it should be clear here that Jesus is God. Thank you.